This is, a special Communications Day edition, of Catholic News Mix, brought to you by, Newsnet TV. All over India, Catholic communities, have come forward to help people, caught in dire situations. The Sisters of the Apostolic Carmel, at Jayanoga, Bangalore, have been distributing free meals, for 750 people, every day, since last week. Every morning, the Sisters of the Apostolic Carmel Generalate, and Lord Convent, cook the food. Every day, the food is distributed, to different hospitals, and slums, by the social workers. In Jharkhand State, the Daughters of Saint and Congregation, has started, a free lunch distribution, to patients coming to the COVID wing of their hospital. The Saint and Hospital and Research Centre, is at Ulhatu village, some 15 kilometers from Ranchi. The villagers, cannot afford, the big hospitals in the city and many patients could not afford to buy meals. Sister Neelima Eka, the administrator, says that the nuns distribute about 150 lunch packets daily. Don Bosco for Migrants, DB4M, has been initiated by the Silesian Provincial Conference of South Asia. It puts together the efforts of the Silesian family in India to reach out to migrant workers. Most of the Silesian provinces have set up migrants' desks and various initiatives to help and support migrant workers. There are 33 migrants' desks in operation. All India toll-free helpline for migrant workers from Don Bosco for migrants. This helpline offers information and assistance primarily to migrant workers. Other groups may also access this service. Languages available are Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Odia, Kannada, Bengali, Manipuri, and English. Migrants are vulnerable. Let this initiative make them valuable. I have been blessed because I had the opportunity to personally reach out to the migrants in the city of Mumbai. When the lockdown began, we realized that the migrants were struggling with their basic needs. And that is why we have reached out to hundreds of them, giving them ration, basic toiletries and hygiene kits. Today, I am very specially happy because our province is launching the migrant desk. We want to look after their health care. We want to look after their nutritional needs, especially of the children. You are watching Catholic News Mix. Coming to you from Newsnet TV. Cygnus, the World Catholic Association for Communication, is a non-governmental organization with members in more than 100 countries. Cygnus brings together professionals in radio, television, film, journalism, digital communication, and media education. Cygnus began in 2001 with a merger of two organizations founded in 1928. UNDA, the International Catholic Association for Radio and Television, and OSIC, the International Catholic Organization for Cinema. The main purpose of Cygnus is to promote a culture of peace through the media. In recent years, Cygnus has trained young communicators from Africa, Latin America, and Asia. Cygnus brings together Catholic TV producers from around the world for seminars. Cygnus members have served on interfaith juries at major film and television festivals. Through the Office of Cygnus Services Rome, located in the Holy See, supports the creation of community radio and television stations. It also provides satellite internet services to different communities in Africa and Asia. Cygnus has raised its voice to defend press freedom and the free expression of ideas in regions of conflict. Cygnus stands with the excluded of our times, such as migrants and indigenous peoples, giving them a face and a voice through media. Cygnus leadership includes women and young people. Cygnus' patron saint is Archbishop Oscar Romero, who gave his life to communicate the truth. 
through the most extensive worldwide network of Catholic communicators. Sickness sows hope and calls everyone to care for our common home. Sickness, media for a culture of peace. The World Association for Catholic Communication, Cygnus, held a two-day, virtual, Cygnus Asia TV conference on the 12th and 13th of May. This was hosted by Cygnus Korea. But it is so important to us as Catholic communicators that we know we are in union with our church and serving our church and our shepherds faithfully. I believe together, as laity and bishops, we have a responsibility to proclaim the gospel. We believe, as Catholic communicators, the tools of our trade, the media, are intended to be used for the good of all humanity and can be very powerful in amplifying the voice of the voiceless, as our patron, St. Oscar Romero, reminds us. I ask you to join us in taking a pledge to use media for peace. As Pope Francis tweeted about this campaign, let us use everything we can, especially the powerful instrument of the media, to build and strengthen the common good. As we explore how to be bridge builders in this global pandemic, may we heed Pope Francis's challenge to us as he wrote for World Communications Day. There is a risk, he said, in reporting the pandemic and indeed every crisis only through the lens of the richer nations. On Saturday, April 15th, 21 members from Cygnus India region got together for a virtual prayer for those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. day at school, sweetie, said the concerned parent to the little child. Refusing to even look up from the gadget, they said, why are you asking me and distracting me? Uh, just check my blog. Well, uh, that seems to be the way uh, the world is these days. And that incident bears no resemblance to anyone living or dead. Otherwise, I'll be dead. But clearly, that's the way the world is communicating today as we celebrate World Communications Day. The word communication is an interesting word. It's derived from the Latin words communis and communicare, uh, which really mean commonality, to make something common, to make, uh, to share, to denote belonging. And today and now, more than ever, the world and every human person needs to feel that sense of belonging, of oneness, of love. <laughs> 